The price tag to settle that hazing lawsuit, $5 million, is trickling down to property owners, and they're going to feel the pinch. News 4's Kaylee Olivas has details. You see this dark pink area here? That's the Kingfisher School District. Every property owner who lives within those bounds will have to pay a 12% tax increase over the next three years because the school district recently settled a multi-million dollar lawsuit it can't entirely afford. We'll do the best we can to minimize whatever we can control, but unfortunately we cannot control any of this. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is beyond our control. Um, it is an unfortunate situation. The Kingfisher School District recently settled a hazing lawsuit for $5 million. At the center of that federal case, this video. <laughs> showing two young boys pit against one another in an alleged coach-sanctioned fight. Then there's this picture of a former Kingfisher High football player's back. The severe bruising is allegedly from being whipped with wet towels by other players. A settlement has been a hot potato for the last year. The first request, fire the coach responsible, Jeff Myers. When that didn't happen, Mason Mecklenburg's attorneys requested $1.5 million to settle. That was rejected in March 2022. Over a year later, and now the district has settled for $5 million. But the lawsuit isn't covered under liability insurance. Property owners who live within the district's bounds are now on the hook to pay 75% of it. When you couple the 3.75 with the 5.5% interest for the three years that it takes to pay it off, that's where we get the 12%. Increase. Kingfisher County Commissioner Heath Dobervolny confirms for every thousand dollars worth of property value, taxpayers could see an additional $120 starting December 2024. So nobody in Kingfisher County wants to see their property taxes increase in this manner, especially. Uh, I know the treasurer feels the same, I know the assessor feels the same. We knocked on 10 doors. No one would go on camera, but the consensus is no one is happy. One even saying he doesn't have a kid in the school district, but now he's forced to carry this financial burden. In Kingfisher, Keely Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. The settlement offer is expected to be a done deal after Monday's Kingfisher Board of Education meeting. We've tried reaching the Kingfisher Superintendent's office again, but our call hasn't been returned.